Let's invite the first corporate on the show that NIIT Limited, an education company, Q3 numbers have seen a sharp margin improvement. While the revenue growth was uh, just 4%, their margins have expanded from 12 to 19%. Vijay Tadani, the vice chairman and managing director of the company, now joins us. Uh, good morning uh, and thanks so much for joining in. Let me start with the corporate learning group. That's the driver of growth for you. It's up 15% on a year-on-year -year basis. Is it pent-up demand? Or can you sustain this 15% growth for uh, the corporate learning group? Yes, I, I think I'll just give a color to the corporate learning group. I think corporate learning group, uh, where we, are, we have large training outsourcing contracts, we call them managed training services. These contracts, uh, some of our legacy customers, you know, their contracts or their volumes went down actually during the year. And uh, uh, But at the same time, the momentum that we built up through new contracts that we got into over the last six quarters, that has resulted in this momentum being built. And by the way, uh, the corporate learning group has been growing every quarter uh, slightly better than the previous quarter. So it's been a gradual improvement as new contracts made up for uh, while some of our older customers are, are uh, adjusting themselves to the new normal. So I think that is the issue. Uh, that momentum, I'm sure, can carry us in the short term, but in the medium term, I think we will have to uh, see how the situation pans out in the world and uh, uh, vaccination and all these things settle down. And once that is over, I think in the long term, I think in this period, we have gained market share and I think... Uh, that uh, uh, strengthening of the digital engine will definitely help us through in maintaining a very strong long-term profile. What about margins? What led to uh, the margin improvement that you've seen this quarter? Your EBITDA has expanded by 70%. And any guidance you could share on the corporate learning group? Any numbers? Yeah, so as I said, the, uh, so first let's talk about the EBITDA. I think EBITDA has uh, come out of a number of initiatives. First is the, uh, the switching over to the digital uh, learning environment, uh, the lower cost that we had, uh, you know, the lower establishment cost, travel costs, all those are lower. And at the same time, some of the newer contracts are at uh, better margins. Uh, those are those are contributors to this. Now, whether this can be sustained on the newer contracts as they are taking shape uh, with these better margins in the short term, as I mentioned, the business momentum can be maintained, and I'm sure our margins will be uh, better than what we had uh, projected, uh, have been projecting of 15%. Uh, but it will be better than that. But after the, uh, in the medium term, as I said, is the issue that we have to see how the new contracts settle down the newer contracts which are still coming in. We have a healthy pipeline. And then we have to also look at how the outcome of uh, the digital transformation initiatives which organizations are taking, uh, how they settle down so that then they can hopefully start spending more on, uh, on training and other, other initiatives because right now everybody is very tied up in getting the digital transformation from a technology point of view implemented. So all these things are moving parts in the medium term, but I think the long term it positions us very, very strongly uh, towards the uh, ambition that we have of being a, a, a large player in the, in the world market. What was the contribution of digital, the kind of growth that you've seen, the opportunity and uh, any targets that you've set for scaling up digital? Well, I, I think uh, these are uh, these targets will typically be depend on how our customers uh, transform into digital, and that's as far as the corporate learning is concerned. In the retail learning, I think we are steadily making progress. Uh, uh, I think next quarter we would see that uh, our our transformation would definitely create some positive growth in the retail part of our learning business, and. Uh, and after that, we hope that this momentum will build up. Uh, we do believe that uh, over a period of time, the model which will kind of stabilize will not be perhaps a pure digital, and it will obviously not be the same as the way it used to be, which was predominantly offline. I think it will be a blend, and that blend is the issue that 
uh, I think various organizations are struggling with. The good news we have is that our four decades of experience of uh, having the work with learning technologies in various formats, that will come in very, very useful for us. Tanani, we leave it at that. Thanks so much for joining in. NIIT Limited quite today, just up half a percent, but the stock has doubled in the last one year. We'll slip into a break on that note. On the other side, we'll discuss market fundamentals. Nitesh Thakkar joins us next.